Oh, what a mess behind me. <clears throat> All right, I figure I might as well go ahead and begin here. 
uh, hello to everyone who uh, jumped in was waiting in the uh, uh, waiting in the sides here. Um, it says I've got two viewers, so I'm not sure somebody left. I had three people now I'm down to two. Oh well. Um, thanks for hopping in. Uh, Enrique and Vince should be joining me shortly. Uh, I had one little bit of a hiccup because <clears throat> I was about to start and um, and it said my my um, internet suddenly dropped. I'm like, no, this is not the time for that to happen. <laughs> so uh, I'm hoping we we keep a good um, internet connection going here for the next uh, for the next uh, couple of hours, um, at least hour and a half. Anyways, uh, we should get. Um, I've given the links out for Enrique and for Vince, and they are supposed to be joining. Me shortly. I guess we're going to have uh, two topics for tonight. Uh, one thing I wanted to talk about <clears throat> was uh, Photoshop because uh, something happened this week with Photoshop. Uh, some people actually lost their color. And uh, hey, Adam, how you doing? Good to see Adam in here as well. Um, some Photoshop users apparently lost use of color if they had an, um, if they've had Photoshop for a long time. The um, uh, they, if they used the old Pantone color system, uh, Pantone wanted to uh, start charging use for its its use of color. Uh, if you're using it in Photoshop and they want to charge like 20 bucks a month, then some people were really upset about that. So uh, I wanted to kind of talk a little bit about that and alternatives to, uh, to Photoshop. And I also wanted to, um, uh, or uh, Enrique wanted to talk about um, art schools. I want to talk about if art schools are are necessary and what they you can gain from them, what they're good for, the ups and pros and cons, ups and downs of going to an art school. Uh, hello, Vic. Uh, Vic, that is um, Godzilla 1985. Um, that's I've always really really liked that poster a lot. So I um, I. Got that one from a video store when it first came on video around uh, late 85. And then I had it plaqued and uh, they did a horrible job of plaque it. They actually really cropped the poster and I was really upset about it. So, but I, I keep that though. I've kept that for years and I have another one somewhere. I think I put it away. I might maybe alternate some of the artwork in the background. As you can see, this is still not finished yet. I still have shelves I've got to put up and stuff that needs to be done here. And, it's still a mess. It's going to take me another week or so. So uh, that is kind of my situation here. Um, looks like we got Frank is in here. Terry is in here. Adam. Vic. So hello, everyone. Uh, I'm just waiting for uh, somebody to come in. Somebody should once they pop in. We can kind of get going here. Um I was told I haven't talked to Vince yet. I was told Vince was um, was going to be here. He was ready and set to go. And uh, Enrique, he has seen my link, so he should be in here. Well, it'll probably be a few more minutes. Um, I probably started a little bit early. I was trying an experiment with um, putting up that that little graphic at the beginning. And uh, there's supposed to be audio with it, and uh, that did not work. And I don't know how that works in. I don't know how that works in, in OBS. Um, I kind of wish um, Streamyard didn't just use OBS. Uh, I, 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 I would kind of like to use um, the other one. What's it called? Streamlabs. Uh, I have a little easier time using Streamlabs than I do with OBS, but. All right, Vic. Well, have a good night. Uh, I know this is a bit late for the East Coasters. This will be on repeat tomorrow if you want to watch. Um, but thanks for thanks for popping in and checking, anyways. And I'm going to see if I can actually get a few things open here. Um, my computer also wanted to do an update, so I'm trying to pause the update for now. So it <laughs> don't I don't want it to do that right now. Of all times for it to to pop up. All right, let's see what I can get going here. I am, um, I did start a bit early, but I wanted to see if I could get 
this uh, graphic to work to see if the video was working. It wasn't playing in OBS, and I thought, well, maybe if I started broadcasting it, maybe it'll it'll come through in the uh, in the actual broadcast. Maybe they're hearing it on the other side. So I started it, and I opened up uh, opened up YouTube just to see, and it is it is not working, unfortunately. So I'm a little bit I'm a little bit disappointed with that. So. All right, let's see what I can get going here. Just to kill a little bit of time until uh, until Henri can get here. Enrique, he gets mad if I say Enrique. It's Enrique. <laughs> I think let's see if I can open something up and do a little doodling. By the way, I we give them a little bit of a plug. If you if um, if you're not familiar with him, Enrique, uh, I'll get him to kind of do a full introduction for himself. Uh, Enrique does uh, drawing tutorials on YouTube, and he also has drawing classes on, um, I can't think of the name of it, not Udemy, the other one. <laughs> It'll come to me in a minute. But he does um, uh, he does do uh, drawing instructions on um, on YouTube, and I believe it's under... Um, easy things to draw 101 and he is also on instagram um what's the instagram name sketch monster sketch underscore monster one and you'll see it's a big monster hand holding a holding a pencil but i'll get him to come in here and i'll get him to do his own uh, big full introduction on who he is and what he does and um It's going to bug me now. Why can I not think of the name of that stupid instructional site? A Skillshare. That was it. He's driving me crazy. We went too early. We're losing everybody now. <laughs> that was that was dumb. I shouldn't have came on too early. So I'm trying to kill a bit of time here, waiting for, for everybody to show up. And... Uh, I know he'll be on here in just a few moments, a few minutes, because it's already, I got 12.27 here, so he should be, um, he should be here probably right around 12. Let's see if I can go to the, the stream. I'm going to see with Sketchbook, this is Sketchbook Pro. This is the new, um, new version of it, which looks pretty near exactly the same as the old version. Uh, I like uh, using Sketchbook quite a lot. It's not it's not as fully integrated as um, oh, I have to set that back up again. It's not as fully integrated. Um, or integrated is the wrong word. It doesn't have all the functions as say Photoshop or Clip Studio Paint or any of these big programs. It's um, it's a it's a smaller, simpler program, but it's called Sketchbook for a reason. It's supposed to be like if you open a sketchbook. And you just want to do some quick drawings. It doesn't have all the um, big functions of uh, of a lot of these other programs, but you can still do quite a lot with it. And um, I just need to switch over my monitor tablet. There we go, just so that I can actually control what I'm drawing here. There we go. Oops, sorry about that. <laughs> there you are. I know my uh, my mug here is covering part of it up, but it does have these um, movable um, palettes like this for your colors. Your um, when you select a brush over here, you can. Um, control the settings on the brushes. This is the full brush library. What you can do is uh, uh, it makes like a little brush palette and you can drag and drop individual brushes you want to use specifically on what you're doing in here. So you can have them handy. So all of these, the only thing is I don't like is that when you drag it in, uh, it takes it right out of there and it uh, it's kind of, I don't know, it's a bit weird that way. I like to I like to just leave it like this. I don't usually use this this palette. I, I figure it's this is 
I just scroll through and find whatever I want to use. But there's quite a good variety of stuff in this thing. And uh, oops, I'm hearing a noise. Oh, oh, look who we have. All right, I can shut up. Let's bring in Mr. Enrique. How are you, sir? Good. Pretty good. Pretty good. 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 Did you give uh, Vince that link? or uh, I did, it? yeah, I did. I sent it a few minutes ago. He hasn't opened it and seen it yet, but I did send it to him. Let me message him. Yeah, it's, uh, I sent it through um, Instagram Messenger, so. Sweet. One second. Yep. We lost you there. Still using your phone, eh? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I just decided to use the phone. Let me, let me see. For some reason, the signal is a little bit better on the phone than it is on the computer. Let me see. We... Okay. All right. Let me see. He sent you the link through. I lost your picture though. Oh yeah, because I sorry I was uh, texting. I was just texting a bit so that I could, uh, you know, because like usually I'll remind him a couple hours before, like an hour or two before, you know, because he's got work. Um, oh I yeah. I rem- I reminded him like at two or something. It was like a long time ago, so hopefully he remembered. Uh, how you been? I'm I'm okay. I'm doing all right. I'm surviving. Same as. Usual, I guess. Not much different from last time. Um, you get a lot of work done. A little, done? A little um, more progress in the office. That's about it. I, I'm I'm really hoping to get it done this week because it's it's been driving me crazy. I just want it to be done so I can I can. But you know, it's the same typical thing. I get in calls in from work, and etc. And so it's been keeping me keeping me busy. Did you move offices or did you move? Uh, uh... I did. Yeah. Yeah. This is the. I'm in the new one now here, so this is this is all the new space. This is kind of the living room I'm converting into the uh, into the office now into my art studio. So, but it's it's just it's been a bit of a process. Um, it's a bit of a domino effect because the the old space downstairs we're using as storage, but we have to get some other things. We have to move some things around downstairs. We got things and there's things out in the shed that we've got to get out. There's things in the boiler room we have to take out, and it's uh, it's just been a lot of shuffling and and rearranging stuff we're taking up too many storage spaces and we have to get things out of the <laughs> storage spaces so did you so, uh gonna start getting like uh like putting posters in the back there or like i see one yeah oh yeah this is all be uh this will all i'm gonna put up some more posters i wanted to get uh what, what do you call them they're um like relief images um see i like that's what i want to do What's what the really call it? Um, yeah, wait your back. Yeah, I can do that too. I can change the color of mine. Yeah. This color doesn't show very well when I try it on mine. It just changes the hue, but you don't see the actual change in color. <laughs> oh, really? You can change. Oh, you've actually got lights. That's why. That's not just. Uh, that's what I got to get is something like that. Change the color of the background, but yeah, it's pretty. Right easy. Is, you can get oh like a get like a light. One of mine is a light strip. That was like twenty five bucks. Oh, see, I've got that. So you can change the color of these like that, but but it doesn't really do much around the room. Oh wait, yeah, you're right. You had you had a light strip on the roof, right, or something like that. Yeah, yeah, around the ceiling. Yeah. Let me check uh, what's up with this here. Let me. Uh... Not that. Let's like three minutes late, but let me see. I reminded him at, at six. All right, where you be, and then uh, uh, there you go. Ah. But yeah, so so uh, what happened to Hall? Did you did you end up uh, selling some of the stickers? Did you did you try or you got? Uh, I only sold stuff? a couple. I didn't sell many this year. Um, I, I uh, just because way too much was all happening all at once. Um, I was had to work extra shifts because we they, they ran out of people at work they had nobody to cover shifts so i was the only one there to keep to to come into work so i say the only one that was just we were we had to reduce staff so it buggered up everything because i had no time anymore right i was in the middle of trying to move the office upstairs it was supposed to be done and it wasn't it was just it was a big huge shit show so I, I I could hardly do anything. I just it was like the whole Halloween was like wrecked, and I was just I was kind of pissed off about that. I was ah yeah. You so know. that kind of that kind of crashed and burned. And I do I still have some stickers, but I'll try and sell them next year. Maybe next year I, I can I'll be in a better position. I'm hoping so, as long as nothing hits the fan all of a sudden. But yeah. uh, 
I'm like, um, I'm trying to create, um, like, I really want to sell uh, tutorials, like on basic drawing and stuff like that off my mm -hmm. website. And like, okay. I'm get, getting better and better at making them. I kind of noticed that on uh, the Skillshare stuff, because I get reviews on Skillshare and they'll be like, oh, I hate this, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, okay, mm -hmm. that means I need to fix that. So I'm trying to do that process right now, get better yeah. at it. Um, and then start uploading them onto my actual website and see if I can uh, get lure people over there because I heard that's a much more lucrative in general. Uh, Where? Uh, to like lure people to my own website as opposed to just selling them off Skillshare. I heard it's uh, okay. more um, But I don't know yet. Review. A lot of work. And I, you know what? I've been a homebody since uh, Halloween. So it's only been nine days. But like what, since Halloween, like all the events are over. Right, I had a ton of October like social events, and then now that those are over, it's like mm. you know, Thanksgiving. Yeah, uh, yeah. Oh yeah, you guys, Thanksgiving's coming up. Yeah, like they're gonna do Friendsgiving, I think. But uh, I've been just a home pretty good. Like I like it. Like I'm catching up on TV shows, and I'm like doing drawing more than I've drawn in a long time because I'm drawing day sometimes now. That's um, good. That's really great. That's what I want to be able to start doing. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's uh, it, uh, I've been on TikTok a lot. Did I talk about that last time? I think I did, right? I know you said you're you're a good plan to do more. I know you've been on there a little bit more. I haven't. I've caught yeah. a few things and I'm trying to put one. I just take like a like a YouTube video, speed it up or chop it up, and then just kind of put that out there, see if I can get a couple of followers. Because I'm like at mm -hmm. nine eleven. I just want that live. You know, I'm so close to that live <laughs> because it goes I'm, up and down. I'm... Like not even nine. halfway there. <laughs> yeah, like, like I'll go to nine oh five, and then like it'll drop to. I'm like, damn. Mm. Like, and then I'll get a nine oh five again. It'll drop to again. I'm like, what? Like, yeah. so. Whoop. You're going in and out. Yeah. yeah. What's up? You're going in and out. I go in and out. I don't know if there's any value in it until I have something to kind of pitch. You know, that's why I'm trying to work on the teaching product first. Then no, I meant your video. Your streaming is going in and out. Oh, it's going out now. Can you hear me? Hello. It's you're, you're fine now. Yeah, you're good now. But it'll it'll blink out. I got I got a call in the middle of it. That's why I was like, "What the hell?" Oh, okay. Like, All right. Um, but uh, yeah. So we'll we'll see where that goes. But yeah, I'm, I'm on TikTok a lot. I'm trying to like get because I know there's that's good. Being on. Um, you, you post on there, right? Plenty. I I did for a little while just for fun. I I may start up again once everything's kind of set up and ready to go. I might start trying to use that platform just to kind of put more artwork on and do something. And what happens? Uh, okay. So I see your stream of red lights. What happens if you turn the other light off? You have this big white light, you have a big normal light. Would it oh, glow from, from that, that one behind me? I, I think yeah, yeah. I can try and turn it out. I think it, I don't know why yeah, it's that's what I do. I turn out my lights. That's why I have this uh, blue glow, but I don't know. Maybe not. Kind of. Yeah. Kind of. It's, it's better. Yeah. It, yeah, a little it bit. Actually, looks brighter on the camera than it does in here, but then it gets because it's low light. See, I got this off my monitor. Um, I guess if you put them in a batch, like my, the blue ones are like literally in a square right there, and then that that gives off a lot more light because it's like one oh, big okay. light. But uh, and this this green one I have is like a straight up like stand that shoots light. I don't know what it is. Oh, yeah, there we go. Wow, that's really that's obvious. More. Yeah, I'll, I'm still getting a lot off my monitor, so you could definitely, you see, um, like, I'm getting a lot of glare on my face. Yeah, in the future you could do this thing. I have a ring light right above me, so I have like so I can, um, you know, like there's like a white light source on me, and okay, it sort yeah, of doesn't yeah. look blending into the background. Just, look how uh, look how clean yours is, and mine's very like it's low light, so it's very I look grainy. I think, I think if you got um like a ring light in front of you, like you would stand out from the background, and it would look. Very yeah, unique. but it's still extremely like here. This is like for my monitor. Um, yeah. You see, and like, it's, but it just it looks grainy. It doesn't look. Um, I don't know. I, I just think it looks too grainy. <laughs> yeah, I, I think know. ring light. Your whole, thing, you know, we're like just light source on the side of you, like a desk right. lamp's not gonna, not gonna fly. I don't know. Just ideas, ideas to do that. Um, but uh, damn, where the f Vince. Let me check I don't the know. Thing. Check again. I, you allow me to. I, I have straight up. Um, Instagram open it's, here, and I'm not seeing him. I, I could just straight up call him. 
be like, oh, hey, what's up? Blah, blah. Yeah, let me, let me call him then. Let, let, let me call him. Let me let me jump off and All call right. him real quick. All right. All right, let me do that. All right, one second. I'll be back. Oh, how's it going? I love that. Oh my god, I love that picture. <laughs> Here, oh, wait, Vince is asleep, but he's getting up. He'll be on in ten minutes. All right. Somebody okay. just asked where he can find your content. Oh, that's um, Adam. Depends which one. Just go to Easy Pictures to draw. Easy Pictures to draw. Uh, on which you, platform? On YouTube. YouTube? Easy, yeah. Oh, Easy Pictures to draw. Okay. Otherwise, Easy Things to Draw One Hundred and One was your main could, one. That also. That also. Either one. Uh, okay. Post on both almost every day now. I'm trying to. Do you, do you have a website? Not quite. I have sketching easy, but it's like a dead. I don't recommend it yet. <laughs> I'm, I'm fixing okay. it. <laughs> I did mention your uh, your Instagram. Yeah, that's fine sketch too. Monster. Sketch monster will be fine. Yeah, that's sketch underscore monster. Uh, yeah, I have a lot of things. Yeah, by the brands because that's like. Mm -hmm. So what I'm trying to do with my easy pictures one is it's it was mostly kids drawings, but like. I noticed, and I was doing it three times a day, um, three videos a day. And hmm. that started, yeah, for like a year I was doing that. And it's like driving me crazy. And what I decided to do was I decided to change it for my sanity. I'm doing one video a day now, and I'm just editing it a little bit better. Uh, you know, like like putting myself in the video a little bit. And I'm also kind of have I'm trying to grow the channel up. So instead of like doing okay. content with kids, you know, like how to draw a cute um, – I don't know, like a chibi muffin or something. I'm uh, I'm trying to do like you know uh, what's it called like um, things what's like what's up? Well, what's it called? An easy things to draw? Easy? Uh, just go uh, easy pictures to draw. That one. I'm trying to grow that one up. Easy pictures to draw. Yeah, that one, yeah on YouTube. Um, but like what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to dr grow the channel up because kids content is being demonetized. So mm -hmm. that, yeah. yeah that's a uh, yeah, and, uh, I'm trying to grow it up. I'm trying to put it more for teens. So, like, I'm doing stuff more like, uh, what's the guy from God of War? Oh, man. <laughs> God of War or no? It's, uh, I forgot his name. I, I love that game. Oh, God gosh. of War. Yeah, yeah. You know what that is, right? No? Is this a video game thing? Yeah, it's a video game. It's a, it's a pretty... <laughs> I'm so out of touch when it comes to video games. It's just not my but... thing. I guarantee you must have seen, like, there's ads all over the place in general. Oh, okay. 
bald guy with like a beard and we've got four people watching if somebody up their nose yeah god of war is a big it's a huge game it's there's a new one coming out in a month Hmm? yes kratos kratos thank you and hello seven this is our friend seven he's been he oh sweet some of the people here have been i've been involved in some other chats and some of the people here are some regulars from other chats so oh no hello uh but yeah, yeah, Kratos. Yeah, there you go. Like, I'm trying to draw things like him. I'm trying to grow the channel up oh, slowly, right? Like, because I, I have to do it slowly or else it's going to, like, the, the views are going to cut too quick, you know? Because I, I tried that before. I tried flipping a switch, changing everything instantly. And it was like, I changed my icon, everything. And, like, my views were, like, uh, way lower. So I changed it all back. Oh, okay. Because I was afraid. But now I'm just trying to change like the amount of videos first. And then I'm changing the thumbnails and I'm slowly changing the topics. And now I'm changing the way I do tutorials. Because back then it was like follow along, you know, like a little kid. Right. But now, yeah. 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 But now I'm doing it like, okay, let's go over simple shapes first on one layer. Mm-hmm. And then we do another layer. You know, I'm trying to teach them really draw now, like a teenager. Like, you know, You're like breaking a, it down like into the circles yeah. and center lines. And yeah, like, like I'm trying to. Draw, instead of just kind of going like follow along and I draw the size yeah. of the, the you know and then sometimes I come out crooked because I didn't like <laughs> <laughs> I didn't put it uh-huh. I didn't like it. Uh, so I'm, I'm trying to do that right now and mm-hmm. uh, for my sanity and for money and uh, you know and then, mm-hmm. and, I, and I would be more open to see full lessons from that right like my previous audience was little kids in the morning and just kind of following along this, this, you know, but I want my audience to be teenagers to adults that want to really know, learn how to draw. So, right. trying to, and then maybe make it more like my sketch monster brand, you know, so maybe they'll cross over. It won't seem like a totally different human doing it. Cause that's kind of what it looks like. Now it looks like I got kids drawings over here and I got like monster drawings over here and it looks like a totally different person. Okay. Anywho, I'm rambling. Yeah. Uh, that's okay. No, no. How's the Photoshop stuff? Uh, what's that stuff you're mentioning? Vince could hop in. The so, yeah, the, well, I, I wanted to talk a little bit about, about Photoshop this week. I was talking a bit about it beforehand. So I don't know if you heard the news. Uh, a, a bunch of people who have had uh, old files for a long time, Photoshop files, uh, and I mean for a long time, and I guess you have to be actually have Photoshop online with it as well, but they woke up to find out that the colors were missing. The colors were black. And it turns out that um, Photoshop had, I guess, a deal with Pantone. Mm. And uh, Pantone decided they wanted to start charging for the use of their colors. Mm. And uh, so they just pulled out. And I guess if you're, if you're online and somehow if these, if these tones or colors are, are in the Photoshop files or are connected to it and connected online, then you lose all, the, all your color. Wait, what do you mean? All your color? You're saying for people who got what, like the pirated copies? If or they, what, what? I guess if they, if you used Pantone back in the day, I guess they had a deal with Pantone, and if mm. you used Pantone's color, Pantone was like, no, you're not going to use our stuff for free. The contract's over. We're cutting that off, and I, I don't know how it worked, but they want to charge twenty bucks a month to use their color. Wow. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Back me. I have. Uh... I don't know what version I have. I have like the newest version. I do have the current version myself, but I'm thinking I'm subscribed to it for one more year and I'm thinking I might I might end it this year because I have so many other art programs that do everything I need it to do. I'm like, I don't really need Photoshop anymore. I have Clip Studio, which is going to be changing in March. They're actually switching their whole pricing program. It used to be just you buy the program and that was it. Now you're going to have to get a thing for updates. It's not a. It's not quite a subscription service. You still have the basic program you can use, but if you want the updates, I think it's like ten bucks a year to get all the I updates to it. Never use that. I just I heard the. I love Clip Studio. Oh really? Yeah, I heard the ruckus yeah. though about like they're gonna start. It's charging. confusing. The the new model is very confusing. So it depends on when you bought it and how, when you're. What's different on Photoshop? I mean, I'm on Photoshop now. I don't notice offhand. You had to have had it for a long time. You had to have probably had files for a long, long time uh, back when I guess they had a deal with Pantone. And if you use their their system, their their coloring system, then that's what they they backed out of. And if it's if you use uh, so if you sign into Photoshop online, if you have an older version of Photoshop where you're not online, then um, then I guess it doesn't affect it. It didn't affect everybody, it's, but it's, it's trying to get there. I'm sorry? 
Is is Vince trying to get in yet or no? Because I know you. Have, like, I, I don't see him yet. I could, he'll, uh, I'll see it pop up on the bottom when he when he comes in, but I don't see him yet. I woke him up, you know. But uh, I was going to say. Okay. okay. Oh, he it, it, it has seen. He has been on and saw my my link. Oh, he has seen it. Okay, cool. Yeah, because yeah. I know we, uh, we did a book club uh, recent like a while ago, and then mm -hmm. it always be waiting room and be like, "Hey, what the fuck?" <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I have that. I have an old a program I've been using for years too, which I really like. It's um, uh, Pixelmator Pro, and I had the original Pixelmator version years ago, and I really liked it. It was a nice, simple alternative to to um, Photoshop, and then they now now bumped it up to a new system called um, uh, Pixelmator Pro, and uh, it's it's more they they advertise it more as um, a lot of graphics and whatnot it, it's it can be used for like photoshop music photography and art but uh i have it's good if, if i'm working with lettering if i have to do big block lettering and things it's it's really nice for actually manipulating that and doing some really fancy stuff with it so between oh studio and that and krita is also free between those i don't need photoshop anymore there's no point yeah i might i might um i mean i get photoshop free because my book cool so like but if it wasn't for that, in the pirate, you have, sorry, you, your audio dropped for one second just as you said what you use it for. I, um, I, I use the my my buddy works at a school, so I get mm -hmm. Photoshop all the updates. Uh, oh, okay, all right, all right. So he kind of gives me like the copies of it, uh, but but it, I would if I had to download it, I def, I would never pay for it. I would have been on something else. I was too used yeah. to use pirated stuff from like eight years ago, you know, for years and years and years and years, and we all passed it around. <laughs> cool but like i would never pay for it but like if i have to change i'll change eventually i guess it would just depend hmm. did, did you hear all that yeah i did i did somebody just messaged me here just randomly somebody sent me a text saying he's he can he's like oh, i'm watching you <laughs> so awesome. hi to my friend josh out there watching me good yeah awesome yeah, uh, yours is good yeah, I don't, I don't. Yeah, I don't. I mean, there's so many. You're right. There's so many options. Like, I only. I'm, I'm old school though. I, I like sticking to one thing forever until like I have to be forced yeah. off. <laughs> so, so I used to be like that, and I've become more flexible as I got older. I don't know. I've been. There's a new yeah. program. I got to try it out. But we even Procreate. I fought Procreate for a while, and then I'm like, now that I, I use it, I'm like, oh, this is amazing. Like, I need. To, I should have been using this a long time ago. Like. I, I really like Procreate. There's just a few little limitations that I wish they could kind of jump over, but but I'm, I'm but waiting for Give me an example. One thing, I, I really wish that you could stroke your selections. That if I make a selection with the selection tool, that mm. I could actually stroke a line around that. You can't do that yet with it. And I, I wish there's no program for the iPad that can do that. Oh, I think he's here. Wait. I'm just. He, he came on, but it's white. There's nothing there. Signals off. Hold on. And it? there he is. Here is Vince, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, hey, hey. Sorry about that, guys. What's <laughs> going on? There you go. Bill, How you doing, Vince? Get, get, crazy you... week, man. Yeah, Sorry. crazy week. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm good, though, man. I'm good. What, what are you guys, uh, what were you guys talking about? Photoshop. And the, uh, the crime of charging. Thing. I don't know. Yeah, there was. Uh, oh, okay. That's a. Uh, I wanted to bring it up because Photoshop ran into a bit of an issue last week because uh, people who've had it for a long, long time, uh, way back in the day, they used to have. Um, Photoshop had a contract with Pantone. Pantone decided to. I guess the contract was up, and and now Pantone wants to charge for the use of their color. So if you have an older version of Photoshop and you're online with it. Uh, people woke up to find their stuff was black. The color was gone. Uh, so Pantone wants to charge like 20 bucks a month or something like that to, to for the use of their color, their color system. So, so yeah, so it was, and I know we started to talk about alternatives to Photoshop. So, mm -hmm. Vince, you get, you get Photoshop free, don't you? Yeah, it's, um, no, no, I, I pay for it. I like I pay for the like the whole suite, and like I I was definitely there before, where it's like this is this is bullshit, man. <laughs> like you know when you go from like this model where you're paying like you know like when you're in college, like 
you, you get like the education version, which is the like exact same version as the regular version, but it's like 90% cheaper, basically. <laughs> it's like, yeah. a, it's like 200, 250 bucks or something like that. Like, yeah. I, like, uh, you know, I grew up with that, you know, like, like as far as my, uh, my, my professional career, I grew up with like those kind of things. And then when I went to like the subscription model, I'm like, this is bullshit, man. But yeah, I know. like, but it, it's become cost effective for me. I would say, like, like it works for me um, for for the amount of work that I do with it. You know, like, mm -hmm. I, like I, I guess I just made it work. Like that subscription. Like, I, I think it's stupid. Like, I, like everything's going subscription service. Like Microsoft Word and like yeah. the whole that whole oh service. Those that's subscription based now as well. Probably because of Adobe. You know, but you know, it's like these are the these are the industry standard programs. So it's hard to like not kind of like you know what I'm saying. That's like that's the that's the issue, you know. Like some of these uh, some of these free programs are really good. I've messed with them, but like their like function their functionality isn't up there with like Adobe products yet, you know. Which one do you think? Is I, I was telling you. Hmm? Uh, which program? do you guys think is equal or close enough to uh, for Photoshop? Because I think it's a few, right? They're close. Yeah, there's a there's a few. There's like a whole list. If you're on a Mac, the the, the Pixel Mater uh, suite is pretty good. The only thing is Pixel Mater, the Pixel Mater Pro, which is more of their drawing and graphics, is a one shot payment. It's like either forty or sixty bucks in that range. And they also have enough Pixel Mater Photo. So if you if you're a person that works in photography and you want you want the photography suite. That one is actually a monthly subscription, um, but that's uh, that's what I've heard is actually is, is a pretty good if if. But if you're an artist, if you if you're an illustrator, um, like I use Clip Studio. Clip Studio for the longest time was just you bought it flat out, and again it was cheap, and they usually had it on sale a couple of times a year. I paid like forty bucks for it, Canadian even. I, I paid for it, and now starting in March. It's not it's not like a subscription model, but what it is, you you still have the base program, but you um, you have to you you buy a uh, an update pass. So if they make any updates to the program, um, you you pay for a yearly pass. It's only ten bucks, I think, for the year. It's not a lot, but it's mm -hmm. a lot of people with who've been using Clip Studio and really like it are really kind of upset about it. But because um, wow. uh, I think I think for artists, I think well, there's Photoshop, there's Procreate if you're on an iPad, and then there's Clip Studio, which is, which for artists is kind of the next big program. But I guess they're making some major changes to the program next year. It's going to be some big, big changes coming to Clip Studio, and and they're going subscription based as well, probably. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Don't you think there's always going to be um, there's always going to be somebody that's like, yo here's something similar but free, right, or one time payment? There's probably always going to be someone in line. Lightroom. Oh yeah, for, for sure. Oh Lightroom, yeah. yeah. Have you used Lightroom? My friend uses Lightroom. I have a good friend of mine that uses Lightroom as well. Is into photography. If you're into photography, Lightroom's kind of the big. The it's big it's awesome. Is. I, I yeah. Not like a lot, but I use it. It's it's time. actually it, it's really interesting that we're talking about this right now because like I I still use like Adobe. I have like um the whole. CC Creative Suite thing, and uh, yes. every once in a while they'll send the uh, the thing is like tell us how we're doing, like one out of ten. And I, I'll write a ten because like you know the programs are good and stuff, you know and it works works for me. It's like how can we improve this product? And I always put make it cheaper, <laughs> make yeah. it cheaper, make it more accessible, <laughs> yeah. make it cheaper. You know, accessible. every every single time, like I, I think it's like every maybe like two months or so they'll send that. Like when you open the program, they're like, "Hey, how we doing?" It's like you're doing great. Make it cheaper. <laughs> you know, it's the uh, automated program that goes nowhere. Your computer crashes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear me. Yeah. My my only my, my biggest problem um with this subscription based service is it's kinda like all or nothing, you know? You can do you can like get Illustrator by itself, you can get Photoshop by itself, you can get InDesign by itself, or you can get this bundle with everything. <laughs> you know? Right. It's yeah. like the, the three main programs that I well, I'll say four main programs that I use for Adobe is like Photoshop, 
illustrator and sometimes in design, not as much, but you know, sometimes mm-hmm. I'll use like in design and also uh, Adobe Acrobat. So it's like, that's all I need. You know, if I could just like pay for that, like subscription based. Even then, to get it all on the iCloud, like- they charge again for that. What's up? Yeah. If, oh, if, yeah. And then, if you want to get it on the iPad, in some cases, that's another another expense as well. I I, I have the base Photoshop program, which it happens to include Photoshop, Lightroom, and both of those on the iPad for like ten, twelve bucks a month. But I know mm-hmm. if you want like I think if you want like larger packages and you want Illustrator and you want it on both your desktop and on the iPad, you pay more. Same thing with Clip Studio. Clip Studio is like a one-time payment for the desktop, but if you want that on the iPad, that's a monthly payment you're paying there. So it's like 12 bucks mm, a month or something. So yeah, it's... it's uh, yeah. I guess that uh, makes sense. Different, uh, different uh, mm-hmm. devices, you know? Mm-hmm. But yeah. still... I dig mm-hmm. it. Dig it. And I'm very simple, so I don't know. I don't need much. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I get I get so interested in them like, oh, there's a different program. Like I'm looking at Fresco and I'm like, oh, that's cool. This can do some things a little bit differently. And yeah. then you end up using them. It's like I'm getting the same result really from the other programs. I've got Procreate. Yeah. Um, I've got Procreate. There's another really good one for the iPad called um Paint. Oh, God, what's it called? Uh Paint Something. Um uh, it's really good. It, I, I'm surprised more people haven't heard of it. it it's um, uh, I'm say that's a good name by itself. Name, it, <laughs> I like that for it. it was a lot of <laughs> yeah. What's it called again? Oh, Painter, I guess. Um, yeah, there's one. Yeah, I Infinite Painter. That's it. Jeez. Is it free? Infinite Painter, if, if you're, which I think is actually just as good and even has a few extra little functionalities over Procreate, but um, oh, they just don't market it enough. But Infinite Painter is, is a brilliant little program for the iPad. And it's like 12 bucks. 12 bucks? Okay. Well, so about uh, the- here's, a thought. No, here's, a, here's a thought that I have, guys. Like, uh, I, I know, like, in, in my line of work, I sometimes I'll get like CDR files or like Corel Draw files. Um, mm-hmm. I don't know how familiar you are, you guys are with like Corel Draw, but it's like it's a pretty it, it's pretty successful like kind of second third like <laughs> like tier like Illustrator basically like a double Illustrator, but um it, like you can't open those files in any uh, of the Adobe products, you know? Yeah, like you have That's to like either go on and get them like uh, get them converted and stuff like that. So there's like like that's that's kind of my problem with using like some of these smaller apps that are like kind of free like they don't have their certain file types or like their file types are like you know it might be corrupted if you try to use it like in other um like adobe products and stuff like that there's like all this kind of weird stuff that they try to do to make sure it's like hey mm-hmm. use our stuff <laughs> you know use our stuff only yeah. you know but um yeah you know it, it's kind of like a battle there like yeah yeah i was thinking that yeah. too it, yeah, it, it doesn't play ball with anything else except for Corel, yeah. you know? Yeah, I was going to say, as long as my files open up, I don't care. I mean, if I can, hmm. you know. Yeah. I mean, like, they'll, they'll, like, sometimes they'll open up, but it'll be, like, jumbled. It'll be, like, a mess or something like that, you know? Like, you open it up and it's, like, missing, like, colors or it's, like, missing, like, images or something like that. And it's, like, there's all kinds of stuff that I've seen, you know? Yeah. Funny that you say the stuff about Microsoft Word, but yeah, I hated that too, that subscription model. Um, I get that from a friend as yeah. well. Yeah. It's like, like I, I like I don't know, the best way to phrase this, like I understand Adobe doing like the subscription model because like they they got people hooked, like people like me who've been using these programs yeah. like since like We've been in school, you know. This is like what I know, and I'm like, I'm really like proficient with the programs and stuff now. It's like, like, what are you gonna do? Like, stop <laughs> right now? It's like, like if I'm gonna do that, I would need to like get out another program, start learning that, and still use like what I'm using right now, you know, in order to yeah. like kind of like switch it over. So that's like it's another thing to consider, you know. Right. I, I thought part of it. I mean, obviously, there's. <laughs> money involved is the bottom line but i also thought it was because uh, too many people were learning how to how to share it how to how to 
give Photoshop away and we're getting it for free and downloading it for free. And then you get piracy of that. This is their solution to the piracy. That's exactly what it is. You know, yeah. subscription based yeah. service. That's their, their solution. You know, I remember talking to Enrique like specifically when they started doing this, and we were both like, "This is bullshit." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I, I remember. I remember distinctly, but it's like, what can you do, man? <laughs> it's like industry. They're like the industry leaders, you know. Mm-hmm. And like these are the programs that we've been using for years. Yeah, because I remember at Art Center, like everybody, like this is Art Center, right? Like they were just passing it around. Like it was just like, hey, here you go. Like pass it along. Like install yeah. it. Yeah. Here's you know, a product code. You know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you have a team for doing that. It's like <laughs> it was like what? Yeah. Like I've I've never thought yeah. in a million years weren't going to be able to get around it. I mean, I'm still getting around it. Don't get me wrong. I'm not paying for it right now, but hmm. you know, maybe I would have had to. Yeah. Phil, can you show that thing you did with uh, me? Uh, you know that drawing that you did to Vince here. Oh, um, oh, yeah, let me see if I can bring it up. Give me one second. Um, oh, cool. Hey, place is looking nice, Phil. I didn't get to, to mention that, man. I like, uh, like what you got going on there. The turquoise lighting and everything. It looks pretty dope. Oh, though. yeah. <laughs> so we were talking about that earlier, getting the, you guys, the uh, you can up. In front of you to separate yourself from the background. Check this out. Oh, that's dope, man. I like that. I like that a lot. <laughs> I, was, I noticed you, you used my first block. Yo, I like it. I, I like it. Yeah. yeah, you created the inside of your head, though. I can tell. That's awesome. Yep. Yeah. I, uh, can, you, can you send me a copy of that? Maybe I could put it uh, as an announcement on my... Yeah. Uh, yeah. Look, I had it set with music, and um, I, I tried to put it into... Um, uh, I, in OBS and OBS just won't play the music with it. So earlier I just, I had it actually just come up on my screen and I played the, uh, the music with it, the, the sort of the, the fifties style. Flitty kind of the, yeah, I get it. I yeah. dream a genie kind of, yeah. Oh, really? yeah, yeah. kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, that's a cool idea. Wait, what I happened? See, okay. I, I need to, I need to see that. I'm not the, I'm going to have to watch this back to see that. You can't oh, yeah, that. I might do it again at the end. Maybe what I'll do is when it's finished, we'll. I was I was gonna say you can't uh, you can't put that into like a, like a video file, like create a video file from it or something, and then put it or I did. Is that what you're... That's what I oh, did. You did. Yeah, it didn't work, and it's still, it just it just plays the 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 video, but there's no audio. It won't play the audio with it. Oh, wow. I don't know okay. why. Yeah, no. that's that's actually what I what I brought up here. This is this is actually. This is it here, and I don't know why it's like it says here it's showing it playing, and it, there's no audio. Mm. I don't, yeah, I don't so hear the audio. I, I have no idea why. Oh, shit. Uh, yeah. damn, it's dope, man. I don't know. You guys have any other uh, feedback on the uh, Photoshop stuff? A lot of it's just me complaining, though. Or, oh, I mean, um, it, it oh. helps the vents. <laughs> I started in college around 2013. I guess that's about. That's about right. Is that when we started doing subscriptions? Because it's been, I guess, about 10 years now. That's about right. Yeah. Well, because I remember, like, we, I still yeah, had. A long time ago, man. They've been doing it for a while now. <laughs> like, like 11 years? Nine oh, years? Yeah. Did you have the last mm-hmm. working? Because I remember I had that last working free version forever until recently. The, like, I remember. The <laughs> I remember you were, you were hanging on to that, man. <laughs> yeah, it was like yes, yes. it was like the last free version. Everybody was passing that around for a while. Oh yeah, it was like <laughs> see what was it called? C T S one Photoshop. C- oh, yeah. the, the latest one. Uh, I one think it was the CS, CS2. and then when it went CC, that's when it was like subscription based. That was it. Yeah, like CC, cloud, like Adobe Cloud, and all that stuff. Right. Those were fun. Those were fun times. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's there's, uh, some, there's some stuff that I absolutely don't like about it though, like uh, like how they're doing Adobe Stock. I I don't know if like you guys use a lot of those like image uh, database like kind of system like Shutterstock and stuff oh, like that. No. But Adobe Stock is like that. that um, is the Adobe version of it. And right now it's like it's subscription based, and you can get like like five images per month or something like that. I'm like, 
No, that's not that's not a great deal. Like it's like 20, 20 bucks a month. You get like five images per yeah. per month. It's like no, nah, like you gotta you gotta give me the buffet, man. You you gotta give me like unlimited access to these images. You know, <laughs> that doesn't make me. <laughs> I use Bridge. I use Adobe Bridge, and I, all I use is like Bridge, Photoshop, Illustrator. Uh, what's the one we mentioned? Lightroom. Mm-hmm. That's about it. I use like four. Yeah. I don't know what you got. Oh, I'm sorry. You like Being... Bridge? I like Bridge a lot because I can't see uh, thumbnails. I'm sure there's a, something I could do about I that. I just thought the Adobe Premiere, the the editing. Wait, software, it... their, their editing suite. Uh, yeah, I've i barely touched that. Yeah. Got that because he bought him, a friend of mine bought a drone to do some pictures and video with a drone. He was like, oh, I want to do some editing with it, and so and then you got he said Photoshop. You decided to get Premiere with it. Premiere. Premiere. I use Premiere constantly. I'm so sorry. No, <laughs> I use it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that, that would make sense. You know, part of your yeah. livelihood, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm a Final Cut person. Yeah, I, don't, I use I use it. Uh, I've been using it since high school, though Premiere. So, like, I just mm. you know, but I, I could change it if I needed to, probably. But because uh, Final Cut's pretty close. It is, yeah. So, it's like six of one. Like yeah, like Say what? Like that that's actually a, a question of like when I get, ask you guys like um in terms of like those other like other programs like non Adobe programs do the shortcuts tend to be the same because they know that people are coming from Adobe like have, have you has that been your experience that like shortcuts and stuff are like pretty similar I have no idea I've only used Premiere <laughs> and then like one of the right. programs you use, um, use shortcuts and stuff in Premiere, right? Or do you oh, yeah. just kind of have your, like, your well, mm-hmm. routine and stuff? Uh, yeah. I just kind of like... Oh, well, I'm, I'm just curious. I use shortcuts a little bit. Not really, though. I barely use shortcuts. Uh, you know, I only use like five shortcuts in like, Photoshop now, to be honest. Yeah. Same thing with, with um, Final Cut and if I use it on movie, whatever, there's all these little shortcuts so you can use keyboard shortcuts and that. One of the things I really yeah. hated at my school uh, in art center, one of the I think the first time that we had to take a test on shortcuts, and I was like, "Oh, I'll probably know this shit by heart." And then I'm like, "Oh fuck, I don't know any of these by heart. I I know them by touch." That's so funny, man. <laughs> That's yeah. really funny because when I'm when I'm like trying to train somebody or teach somebody how to do something, I'm not able to tell them because I just know. You know what I'm saying? You, you do you yeah. do this stuff so much. Control Z, like you know, Control V, you know, like the paste, the copy and paste, like those things are so, like they're so ingrained. It's like, yeah, I forgot oh, yeah. to do it. I just do it, you know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Same. It's like muscle memory. Yeah. It's really interesting. DaVinci Resolve is really good, and it's on the iPad now. If you have an iPad Pro, they've got DaVinci Resolve for the iPad. Did you? I haven't heard about that. That's, I mean, that's, it... that's a good. It's a free program too. Have, have you guys done this thing? Maybe this happened to you, Phil. Like, have you sketched so much the iPad? Um, or, like, have you tried, like, ske- sketching on paper and then you try to press Control-Z? Did you ever do that? Yeah. <laughs> that too. Yeah. No. <laughs> if I go back to paper, my, like, oh, I made a mistake and I start tapping yeah. my thumb and finger on the table, I'm like, oh. Uh, that's funny. You do that. <laughs> I didn't know that was a thing. That I was like, oh my god! <laughs> no, that's that's funny though because I've heard of um like kids, you know, because kids are so used to like technology and stuff now. They like they'll like open an actual book and they'll just be trying to like like ah. spell it, and make, and it like this, like trying to like to magnify it just because they're so used to like iPads and tablets and stuff like that. It's that's really funny. interesting. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I could totally say, oh man, worrying, yeah. but yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, what else can we drain out of this, Phil? Let, let us know. <laughs> I, I I was thinking actually, you also wanted to talk about about schooling. Did a completely kind of jump ship here, but <laughs> you wanted to talk about about art <laughs> school. Uh, I think I, a few people have asked me that. I, I'm sorry, it's like one of the most asked questions on my YouTube channel, and I was talking to Vince about it a little bit too. Like, do you need should when someone says, uh, you know, do you need to go to school to get an art job, or or do you recommend it? Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, I mean, I don't know. What's your opinion, Phil? Because I mean, me and Vince mildly, we didn't we didn't really talk about it. We we're gonna wait for this, but um, you know. I 
I do. I mean, some people are really good at it, and if they're if they have natural talent and they can just they just do it, then I guess if they don't want to, but mm -hmm. but I do. I do encourage it simply because it's good to have that mentor, that instructor and that feedback from people that if something's not working that maybe you can't see, you can get that back from other people. And I think that interaction uh, is, is important. Um, and it's, and there's always something you can, you can learn from it that maybe you didn't, you didn't think about or something you never, never considered. There's always new things you can pick up and learn and, and new That's ways of point. seeing things. So I do encourage it. I do, I do, if, if you, if, if you can afford it, I know it's expensive to go to school now to, to learn stuff, but if, if you can, that, uh, uh, to be in that setting with other people and other artists and, and, and an instructor and mentor, then yeah, I, I encourage it. That's my yeah. thought. <laughs> that makes yeah. sense. <laughs> I'd say, like, from my, from my perspective, I, I was actually like, what? <laughs> huh? uh, like, from, from, from my perspective, I think some school, some school is necessary. I think, mm -hmm. like, the, the spot would be enough school to spark an interest in something, you know? Because, sure. like, for, like yeah. for me, I took an illustrator class and it was over. Like, I was like, oh, you can do this. Like, you can do this, this, and this in illustrator. You can draw like this, like super high quality art and like, like make it yeah. like super big, like as, as big as you want. And you know, whose quality It's like, I'm in, let's do this. And like from there, like once I would, like was finished with like design school and stuff like that, I would like look stuff up and I just like kind of like figure stuff out. Cause I was like really into it, you know? So I think, some school like you don't i don't think you need to go to school forever like you know for like design and stuff like that because especially yeah. now you have like all these youtubers and stuff like that who like you can yeah. you can like look stuff up and be like oh okay that's how that's how you do this let me save this video you know you can kind of like seat yourself but i uh, like i i guess that's the that's that's the whole thing you want to like I, I think going to school for maybe like a year or two and like finding something that really sparks your interest and then just like pursue it, pursuing it on your own is the most beneficial thing, you know? Mm -hmm. Cause like when you're, when you're curious enough to like look stuff up and like spend that time to uh, like get good at it and stuff like that, that's when you're really going to get good, you know? Yep. Yeah, sure. I think, yeah. yeah. What do you think, right, what's, what's your thoughts, Enrique? <laughs> I think uh, yeah, I, I'm pretty pretty close to you guys is on that. I I, think, uh, I heard a quote. I can't remember who said this, but they're saying like this for I think apply. Uh, it was it was implying to a regular school, and they're saying like if you have to ask, should I go? You probably should just go because like mm -hmm. probably mean have to doing it right now, <laughs> you know. Um, right. You know, like because because I know for me when I was. Uh, I went to a tiny art school when I was 18 just to learn how to draw. But then I found out I needed to learn like illustration, which is like a whole different thing. And like, right. uh, like I could not get it on my own with YouTube, with everything. I paid guys to pay, uh, to kind of help me out like online, but they could only do so much, you know, a lot of times you can just pay them like, uh, once a month to look at your stuff and like needed to go. I, I, that's why I went to art center like at 29 because because I'm like, okay, there they give you the kind of discipline. Because they would make you feel really, really awful <laughs> if yeah. you, you didn't finish something. I think it's all <laughs> Take the feedback. Yeah. yeah, never improved more than when I was at Art Center, and it wasn't even the instruction. Some I heard like 80 or 90 percent of the stuff before already. It was just having somebody who already knew what they were doing, kind of like go, oh, don't do that. Okay, finish that, or you know, you're gonna look like a jerk in the middle of class. Mm -hmm. uh, and then. Um, yeah, I never got oh, also being around like all these people that drew just like me and then just better. That was a big deal. Like you're around like six or seven or eight people. They're all like younger than you and they're all better at the exact same thing <laughs> that you are. And that kind of that kind of pushes yeah. you. Uh, yeah, I, can't, I, I mean, part of me wishes I stayed at Art Center. I left after a year and a half, but uh, uh, I losing my mind also. Just the, it was too much work, like dumping it. But if I had stayed, a lot of these guys are in the industry now. And like, that's what they yeah. want to do. Um. But yeah, yeah, I mean, it's good to go, right? Like, uh, I don't think it got hurt. I guess it got hurt financially. But if you're like unmotivated and you don't know anything, you really should go mm -hmm. to some good art school, you know? Like, especially if you can't draw, because I, I really feel bad for people that, you know, 
I showed Vince somebody. I'm not going to call it out, but there's this guy who, you know, he's been drawing his whole life and he sucks. You know, that guy, that guy <laughs> needs tool bad. Like that guy doesn't know. He never had feedback. Hey, Phil, are you gonna- I, don't, I don't know if you watch this, but like my roommates like that, he's been drawing comics for years and this stuff is just and he knows it. He knows it. Hey, sometimes it's like that. Man. Sometimes it's like that. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta, you know, yeah. break it to them so to... they'll like, you know, maybe they don't approve when you <laughs> give them your opinion. Sometimes they just get offended. <laughs> you know? yeah. They never, they never had like live feedback. You know, actually, that's kind of the reason why I got good at drawing to begin with. Like that, like that first year, I remember getting pretty damn. Like I got most of my skill in the first year. It's because there was constant feedback with mm. guys who are, who are working in the mm. industry. Uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't know. I, I really feel bad about that. I see that. I see a lot of deviant art, you know, where you just see people. You are like, oh man, he doesn't even know the basics. Holy shit, that guy. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. So yeah, I would say. <laughs> yeah, hey, Enrique, I think what you uh, uh, like what you had said about like being in an environment where people were as good if not better than you, or at least you felt that way. Mm-hmm. It's like also really important. I find like that's, that's where I thrive as well, man. I don't like being like, quote unquote, like the, the smartest person in the room, you know, cause it's not what it's about, you know, it's about learning and like getting better and mm-hmm. stuff like that. You can't do that. If you're, if you feel like you're like the best, you know, it's not like a, it's not like an ego thing. It's like, Oh, this person's really good at this. I want to see how they got good at this. You know, right. I want to kind of yeah. like pick their brain, kind of thing. You know, kind of like bounce off of them, stuff like that. You know, how did they how yeah, did some- they get here? You know, yeah. Sometimes they don't even know though. Like that's it's like osmosis. Sometimes it's not even like a that's true. instruction. Because some of these like nineteen year olds I remember at Art Center were so insanely good, and some of them came like right from China, and I was like, man, yeah. it's like as good as some of the biggest illustrators, and he's just like, yeah right next to me and he doesn't even really know how to teach yeah dude i I like on twitter man like i I see like some like some fantastic art and then you go like see like you go to see their page and it's like 21 korean i like boba you know (laughs) it's like super easy going it's like this dude is like super talented yeah yeah like this girl is super talented man it's crazy yeah already you know yeah yeah there's a lot of people like like that and so i don't know i guess a lot of them end up doing their own thing or just uh in, you know in the industry in the machine or uh they probably know, get hired lot. really really early really really early on is like what i'm thinking you know yeah like it's stuff uh, one, is too good not to. one of my classmates works on worked on overwatch too i think and like uh i can't remember there's like so many people i went to school with they're like in the industry now it's pretty crazy um but i, I haven't reached nice. out did they do but, like the character designs and stuff? Because like, those character designs are pretty good. But I'm not sure what they're doing. To be honest, I know they're doing something like that: character design or background oh, okay. design. Hmm. But, but I know, uh, yeah, like they wouldn't have got there if it wasn't for that school. I know that, like, <laughs> like some of them. Um, but uh, yeah, I because one thing that really bothers me too, actually, because I was teaching kids how to draw, is I really, really hate that cope that people do when they say it's just my style. Like your style. Is- you know, <laughs> right? I mean, that's funny. No, I was not no perspective. Oh, you killed Bill, man. Yeah, because <laughs> I've thought that so many times, and I'm like, no, just shut up, just don't say anything. You don't have a time. <laughs> Yeah, that's an excuse. Stuff. That's keeping them from growing, man. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it hurts very often. Uh, <laughs> once I think. <laughs> but 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 that's. I'm gonna have to ask you like for an example of like somebody that you're talking about with that. That's hilarious, man. Yeah. <laughs> it's usually like kids, or uh, I think what bugs me more because kids are just learning, so I don't mind mm-hmm. that. But like well, the ones that bug me are like fifty-five-year-old guys ish who, like I said, have been drawing their whole life, and you're like. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh Rob Liefeld. There you go. Nah, <laughs> I think that guy's okay. I think, like, but I mean, he does some awful drawings. Don't get me wrong. I mean, yeah, yeah, he's had, he, like he's been memed to death, you know. But like, I, I, I've also seen some of his art. And it's like, oh, that's really good. 
you know? Yeah, yeah. Like, I, I mean, his stuff at least is structurally okay, except for that giant, uh, what's that one that everybody makes fun of? The giant. Captain uh, America. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. awful. There's a lot of awful drama. But, There's a few like that, yeah. Yeah, but like yeah. stuff. No, no, I'm talking about people you see like in art class that should be in art 101. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And they're out there like they're the shit, you know? I, I saw a lot of those people at Southwestern. Like a lot of those people. Um, or, or or you go to life drawing mm-hmm. class. Yeah, I see somebody like this old man doing like he's been drawing his whole life. And I'm like, holy crap. He's like <laughs> not even like 101. Like he's so mm-hmm. terrible, like scribbly. And um, that's I find that more yeah. like, annoying. But uh, or the or the guy I showed you, Vince. He's taking a pistol out of his head. He's stop, stop this right now. You're, <laughs> you're too old. <laughs> not heavy, but no, man. <laughs> this, like, I'm not gonna call him out because he's he's online a lot. But like, it's it's uh somebody I know is an associate, and like, I hung out with him a couple times, and like his thought process was so different. Like for me, I was mm-hmm. like, oh, how do I get better at this one thing? You know, how do I get better at the face? And he was kind of like, oh, I just want to draw. So he he kind of feels like he already arrived, even though his his basics were really bad as well but yeah. he just arrived already and it's all like i think you though was like you really can't get much better than you are that's kind of just the hand you're dealt kind of thing that's kind of bad. Mm, I, don't know. I think you can yeah. Yeah. i mean some people have some people might not be great at it but what they what they do with the ability they have can sometimes be really nice sometimes they can they can do something that might be kind of a scribbly style or, or whatever but they can create something that's really still really visually interesting or something that's really that, that's, that's really eye catching. Uh, so I, I don't, I don't <clears throat> kind of. I, 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 I agree with that too. But it's like, you know, like thinking about it right now, it's like you have to you have to know the rules in order to break them kind of mm-hmm. you know when it comes to like art you, you have to know the basics first and then kind of like develop your own style mm-hmm. that's why again it's so funny to me <laughs> it's like oh i'm not bad it's just like that's just my, how i draw it's like no it's like you just don't know the basics <laughs> you know <laughs> i i think people have less of an excuse you gotta admit, your, you gotta admit that your, to yourself in order to grow you know <laughs> Right. I, I think you have less of an excuse for that now just because the internet is like so prevalent. You know, you can find the basics like yeah. everywhere. So I find yeah. it I find mm-hmm. like Skillshare. There's there's so many places that you can go with that, you know? Yeah, so I find it more like, agree now. Uh, yeah. but I remember when I was uh, and not to be this is kind of like an off I don't think this is off topic, but I, I when I was trying so like when I went from beginner to intermediate um, and then trying to go from intermediate and I, I was trying specifically to look at, uh, improve at certain things, like specifically mm-hmm. fantasy illustration or something, um, could not find anybody that could help me online. It was really, really hard. I mean, I went, mm-hmm. uh, the guys just weren't willing to do it that I wanted. Um, I mean, I found a Patreon that was helping me out, but then he, his name was Darkin. I think that was his username, really good illustrator, but then he just closed his Patreon like that. Mm-hmm. Or, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and then there was another guy I found named Bor- Borodante, who's got a really nice YouTube channel. Borodante, yeah. You know him? Uh, uh, I mean, I've watched him a few times. He's really good. Stuff's yeah, yeah, yeah. He's cool. Um, he had a hard time painting over my stuff for some reason. I, I, I don't know. Like he's good, but like, I don't know. He wasn't like he didn't know certain things. Like, he did help me, but not that much. Oh, I'm, you I'm, you've spoken with him then, eh? What's up? You spoken with him? Um, a little bit, yeah, because I was paying him to paint over my stuff, and like he okay. would paint video. Yeah, yeah. Is, and, has he done some of your stuff? Then I, I would be curious. He did, to... one of, he did one of them, and he did give me some good clues what mm-hmm. to fix. But it was, I could tell he wasn't like, uh, I could. He's he he feel like I mean I'm trying to evaluate myself. Like he's probably like one big ass level ahead of me, mm-hmm. but like someone beyond him to really, I don't know how to say it help me more you know he gave he gave me some clues but i wasn't yeah yeah like other guys will be like i'm like okay this guy's like way like a light years behind me and then when he paint when he paints over it i'm like okay i get it but this one he just kind of right. gave me a couple of like ideas and i'm like all right that's that's it's, it's good all right. right but like you don't, you don't feel like he gave you enough to like break through to the next yeah. level yeah. exactly like now i'm following this other guy uh noob noob wit noob witch really good illustrator holy shit he hmm. he's like the way i wish i painted you know? so i found you on youtube he's on youtube let me let me check it nobu which i forgot his username wait 
Hold on. Sorry, guys. One second. I think it's Nubu Witch. And... Okay, hold on. I know where to find it. Sorry, forgive me. I'm going to click the screen and I'll find it right yeah, now. It's, spelling, though. Okay, it's, it's <laughs> N-O- N-O-O-B-O-V-I-C-H. Um, N-O- but he's really... He, he, I like his colors and stuff like that. Um, I don't know what pops up, to be honest. Because mm-hmm. it's good. Yeah. yeah I'm, oh, yeah. I'm, his colors are excellent. Yeah. yeah colors he does a lot of uh cool stuff and like uh his youtube channel just started so i'm like getting more views yeah. than him but uh his I, yeah i was is, wondering like, why his like, his like viewer count is so- almost six thousand mm-hmm. subscribers well i mean i'm saying like his views per video are not like as good as they should be because on mm-hmm. instagram he's got like a almost a hundred thousand followers on instagram i think this is very good. This but is i'm gonna move. maybe it's just a matter of time then yeah, no, I agree. It's a matter of time before the guy grows. Uh, he's got that funny, I don't know what's up with the foot fetish thing, but uh, <laughs> he definitely, but I've noticed that. Uh, and it's weird too, because I didn't, you know, you don't have to ask. You're just like, oh, okay, what is this? Oh, he's censoring the feed. Why? Okay. Why is he censoring the <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> okay. uh, yeah. so I'm not, a, I'm not about to be up here in kink shame, but I always think that's so funny, man. It's fine. It's fine. But it's, hilarious the feet and I'm like what the fuck <laughs> yeah. uh, but anyways I, I only just found this guy a month ago and he already painted for one one stuff and I'm like okay this is the guy I think I, I he yeah. knows much more than me uh at least as far as like you know like what to change within my pieces you know like he knows way 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 more than uh Dor- what's his name or Dante in my opinion right. his yeah I was going to say Boro Dante is a very specific style. Like, I like his stuff. He has a lot of sense, nice sense of depth and dark and light and that, but he's a digital painter. Like, that's what... Oh, this... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But but, but I think, I think Boro Dante will try any program that comes out and make a video about it. That's why yeah. I like it. But this, that's guy, cool. this guy's less techie from what I can tell. I mean, I know he's a ZBrush and stuff, but uh, right. more about, like, okay, let's paint. Let's get this paint better. You know, like... Uh, Anyways, that, that that that's what I'm on right now. We'll see if I can improve. Like, I just want to like fix my stuff and uh, stuff. Sure. Oh, but the part is this Patreon. He barely has any patrons either. Novo Novo oh. Boch. I don't know. How to it. <laughs> <laughs> well, he did, uh, he did one paint over. I think last month it was like mine. So I was like, oh, that's cool. Like he's just starting this stuff. So it's all like fifteen. It's like fifteen bucks too. Like a month. I'm like, this is great. <laughs> yeah, get in on that ground floor, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. I'm on his Discord or whatever. There's a lot of cool stuff on the Discord here with a bunch of people. Still but, nice. Are you guys on Discord? I haven't. I never. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. I still haven't been able to figure that stupid thing out. I need somebody to sit down with me and actually go through Discord and, and show me exactly how the stupid thing works. I'm still confused by it. Just uh, you join rooms, right? You invitations, and then you just have like a panel on your left, and they're just little like chat rooms. Once you get invited. I guess I guess because I I mean I tried it once and I feel like somebody was who was hosting it or, or whatever like I I joined somebody's Discord and as they're talking the conversation like it was two totally different things like I mean I thought is he even like he's supposed to be on the Discord but everybody's yakking at one one thing and then he's talking about something else. <laughs> and then he's, so am I in the right room? Like, am I? And then he's like, and then he's reading comments that aren't even in the Discord. I'm like, what is going on? I'm totally confused. These people, kids are like <laughs> rambling on here in this, and I have no like, there's no connection. Like, if I'm in a chat on YouTube, at least people are chatting about what they're watching on YouTube and they're responding to it. This was just like all over the place. I was like, I don't think I'm even in the humble. I, <laughs> Each, if you get like a link, the community will be split up into like sometimes as many segments as they want. Mm-hmm. Uh, like, I joined this guy's Discord and he has like general chat, you know, resources, and is a whole other chat, art gallery is a whole other chat. So, there's like six or seven. Check it out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, it depends what you get invited to. I mean, like, you know, obviously, when I joined his account, he invited me to that, but uh, I, I don't. I don't know if I just free float. I don't know if you can do that on Discord. I don't use it enough. Can you just find rooms? Or is it like Snapchat where, you know what I mean? You have to. Add I, don't know. 
I was on Snapchat no, I for a while. Snapchat. I had enough of that. I I dumped Snapchat. It was like, oh, uh, did you make? You know, you can make money off of that. That was something I just learned. Apparently, <laughs> you can. I don't know how. You can make money off of any of these apps, man. <laughs> you gotta find your audience, you know. <laughs> Snapchat. Can I, can I just go over that? It's, it was way off topic, but it might mildly relate if anybody out there wants to try this. Uh, I just learned about it. So it, it, they have a public profile on Snapchat. You have your regular Snapchat, then you can activate your public profile, meaning other people can just find you. Oh, um, yeah. And uh, if you post the story, you know, like those are twenty four hours or whatever the hell you call them on there, um, you can put them on like on public where everybody can see them. Um, and if you get right. over something horrible, like if you get over like a hundred thousand views in a day or something like that, you get paid a lot of money. I can't All remember right. much, but it's pretty hard to make money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's just, pretty like, uh, just like any other social media things. Well, you, know? I mean, you gotta have those numbers. You know? I mean, I made 200 bucks off Pinterest. That's gas money, right? Like the last uh, month. What? Pinterest? Do you, do you use Pinterest? Oh, is it okay? No, no, I don't. Remember you're talking about that? I, yeah. I if you turn on. Uh, I said it before a little bit, but if you you can go and if you post enough on Pinterest, mm -hmm. they'll send you uh, like an invitation. It doesn't even have to be that much, but I don't know. I don't know the number though. But you just kind of activate earnings or something like that, and uh, mm -hmm. they get little tiers to hit. So if I get like one post or something that gets me um 200 saves which is impossible for me because i only get like three saves at most on my video on right. my post but like they have an easy one where if you if you post once a week all month they'll give you like 100 to 200 bucks and that wow. was the easy to make hmm. okay once you're like okay I approve. I think about it. Yeah, i know I, I know, like on, on, on TikTok, they have like TikTok has its creator fund, but a lot of people are saying how it pays so little, and it's only in the United States. So, we, as a Canadian, you can't you don't make anything off oh, of that. But really, that's too. Oh, wow. yeah. Uh, they're trying I, to change that, but 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 TikTok won't pay out. They they they're grubby that way. They, they, I, I heard they. Um, yeah. What's up? Oh no, it's TikTok. And, and a lot of people oh, right. ask is if you really want to try and make some money online, YouTube is still the one that, that pays out more than anybody else. You were saying Vince? Yeah. Oh, uh, on that thread, I uh, I saw on Twitter. I think it was like last week, sometime. Um, some so, somebody <laughs> was. Um, I, I think I don't know if they were like complaining about like you know like the algorithm like the YouTube algorithm or something like that. Mm -hmm. But at the end, she had said something like, "You have to like for every thousand views, you get like about like four bucks." So I was like, "Oh, is she like actually revealing like what the the pricing structure for oh, YouTube wow. right now?" Yeah. Like that's really interesting, you know? Yeah. Did that, did that sound know. about right to you, Rika? Yeah. Like I don't know. For, like, you you make you make about like four bucks for every thousand views something like that that might be true i'd have to do the math i don't know mm, okay it was like a little under i think like maybe three dollars 84 cents or something like that it was like very specific number but like it was so specific i was like huh there might be some truth to that i would have to i didn't look more into it but i was like that's kind of interesting information Probably, it's true yeah. you know you might have done the math i mean that could be i mean that changes too based on the month so mm. i I don't know. <laughs> that could be fair, fair, fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. I, like I, I like um, if, if it is true, I was just like doing basic math. It's like okay, so what is like a video that's like gets like a hundred thousand views? Like how well are they doing? They're doing pretty good per month, you know. Oh, Especially God. if they're like if they're doing um if they're doing like you know multiple videos per week. As opposed to a lot of the like the bigger channels who do like these really heavily produ produced wait, stuff and they do it once a week. Wait, my brain kicked in. So you said four hundred dollars per a thousand views that whether it was? No, no, no. A thousand views, like you get four bucks for per one thousand views. That could be true. I was gonna say I thought mm -hmm. it was four. I'm like, there's no no like a <laughs> You thought it was what you come out the second. That could be true. Yeah. I don't uh, I mean the more views more money yeah of course so the more chances someone's gonna click on the ad yeah like obviously you know but i but like I, like for me like just like like giving me a number it's like okay that's interesting because you can start to do a little math on it you know it's kind of like that thing that we always talk about it's like okay what do you want to do and then you start breaking it down you know 
Like, yeah. how much do you make? How much money is that in a year? How much money is that in a month? How much money is that per hour? How much are you charging? Like taxes, you start thinking about all that stuff to put it together. Yeah, you know? they're gonna they're gonna change something next year. I don't know what month they're gonna change it, but uh, they're gonna actually pay you for those. You know those YouTube shorts I talked about. It's like yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So I heard in January, Mr. Beast was talking about it. I don't know what month, but next year they said early next year. But you know that always that can mean mid next year. Mm -hmm. They said they start like right. paying <laughs> paying out actual money for the short, which would change everything. That would actually give me a lot of money that's true um so we'll sure. see we'll see Wait, if that works a lot of shorts now <laughs> apparently they're doing they're doing something that no one's ever done before because everybody usually mm. make money going on live right from like super chats you get somebody don't yeah yeah tiktok right tiktok you go live and they give you like a gift like you, they yeah. give you thing that's equivalent to money but uh mm. yeah this is different i don't know what it's going to be though but mr beast is talking like a lot about it He's basically saying it's going to change everything. So I'm like, okay, I hope it does. Yeah, I mean, like he he would know, right? That has been super successful. I'm uh, really well. I'm subscribed to that to the YouTube. What do they call it? The the YouTube. Uh, they, every week they'll they'll post a really short five minute video telling <clears throat> about what updates they have coming up, and they've mentioned something about it, but they didn't go into a lot of detail. Yeah, and they they're really vague. I saw that too. Yeah. Is that the pick your tagline, which I haven't really. Yeah. yeah, like I don't give a crap. But like, <laughs> <laughs> or super yes. I did actually, just because I think I think that's kind of like your URL or something like that'll be. Oh, that works. Is that they do that through here too? You can donate through this or no? I don't know. Mm. I barely go live. Mm. So, uh, are you talking about the not tags? Um, your app, uh, like a name. You can choose a name or something, right? For yourself, I don't really get what that is. I think that's that's actually your channel your channel name and it'll be in the URL. So if you go to like you, but you know, could slash oh I mean you could have changed your URL. I've already changed my URL. <laughs> like, like oh well, I still can't do it yet. So hmm. oh you can go to a setting and do it. Uh, it was it's been there for years. Mm -hmm. so can, okay, I'll have to have a look. Yeah, it helps your it helps your uh well I mean the only issue is you cannot change it or I think you can change it once I can't remember but yeah I was I was about to say I think you can but you, I don't think it you can change it more than once but like it's a it's like a time limit on it like you have to like if you want to change it again you have to like wait three or six months or something like that oh, that's okay. how it is better anyway I don't think you can change it infinite amount of times though unless unless that rule changed because I remember that rule a while ago or years ago but maybe now mm -hmm. they allow you to. Mm -hmm. The okay. change yeah. the old name to their channel that they started out with, and then their whole branding completely changed, you know, by <laughs> and all of a sudden they're still using yeah. the same. Yeah. But, well, that um that that kind of um made me think about like a like a hot button issue with Elon Musk like <clears throat> purchasing Twitter and like owning Twitter now. Like how do you guys feel about the whole like purchasing the blue check mark for like eight dollars a month? I like it. how do you think that's gonna affect I like it, but they can't it right then they then they just i just i thought i heard a few an hour ago that they're not going to do it anymore is that not oh true? really <laughs> I, i'm ready to jump twitter as well i think it's bullshit was that, wait was i was that, i love it man like i'm uh like i'm eating this up as much as possible dude because they're they're roasting the, they're roasting elon musk so bad out there it's like there's so much funny stuff man I, I oh like it. it's i, like I don't it. i don't know i don't know why he did it man <laughs> I like. I, I like don't know blue, why he did it. <laughs> I like the blue check mark. I don't know if it's gonna happen. Like it's probably not gonna happen. But I'm saying like I like it because anytime there's a new way to get a foot up on my on my shit, I'll take it. So that's kind of like, okay, cool. Like okay. they're giving me the what he's gonna have. I'm gonna take that. Like, well, this is the interesting thing about it, though, man. It's like there's going to be two different versions right now as far as as of today. From what I've seen, there's like the version that like you're you're like a like a public you like a celebrity or you're like a business or something like that. Like mm -hmm. it'll let you know. It's like this person, has, this uh, entity or person has like a check mark because they are like such and such or I have like enough, like such and such followers. And then there's like the, another version of it where it's like, this person is like verified because they bought the subscription. Like it says that. Oh. So it's like, Oh, okay. Now we know. <laughs> I would, would above a normal user. I don't know. I would think about, I would have tried it just cause it's new. Cause I know mm -hmm. that people, on new shit all the time sometimes you're like oh mm -hmm. you're ahead of everybody else uh but yeah i don't really i mean he writes a lot of cringy shit online and i hate all that stuff oh, yeah. but like, listen, I, I just think like i told vince like 
because he's going to be adhering to like advertisers, it's not going to change that much. Like I, I bet you in six or seven months, it's going to be kind of the same shit because he's going to be banning people that say stupid racist shit. I mean, I mean, I don't know. Yeah. I, don't, I think like literally eight months from now, I like forget about who the hell even knows. Be the same. Yeah. Shit. <clears throat> Like it, 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 I, I don't know, man. Like people are like, like doom saying, but I'm like, yeah, you can always leave the app. Like right now, it's just like it's really, it's it's just like funny to me, man. <laughs> you know, it's like just like see everybody's opinion and like see like Elon just like get absolutely roasted in the comments for <laughs> every other post. Yeah, you know? they they bought it for a few billion. They're not gonna like you know they're gonna keep working on it, and that's how you do it. You know, take over. Of business. course, it doesn't work. Try shit doesn't work. Oh, you try something and then like. People forget about it because they're like like the new feature. Or they, he just wants to make it profitable. I guess that company was like never profitable or something. I keep hearing yeah. Twitter was never. Yeah. But but like, but that's that, that. I guess that's my question. Like like Facebook, you know, like like he like dude was asked like point blank like how do you make money off of this from like senators and stuff? It's like from we run ads. It's like why like why wouldn't he do that for Twitter as well? Like I don't I don't Facebook. Uh, what I don't, do you mean by I don't understand. I'm confused. Sorry, Facebook. Like run ads, on Twitter. I mean, they're already running ads on Twitter. Isn't that how like these social media apps make money? I, I were they running apps like last year and stuff? Uh, I don't use I don't use Twitter enough. For Twitter, Even yeah, they, like I, I, I get copious yeah, amount of Twitter. For, I've never it's used it. But it's easy enough to like block them and just it's like st- keep strolling, you know. Like the Hulu thing, where they like you can pay money to block the ads entirely. Okay. I guess like Hulu, yeah. you pay an extra. I don't know. Well, I, yeah, yeah. It's it's like, but some uh, people. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't really. Oh, by the way, uh, sorry. This is, sorry, this is off topic. Um, I saw something on Meta. Even though everything Meta was like a joke, all these videos. You know, have you seen the Meta stuff, uh, Bill? No, I'm not familiar with. Like the met the metaverse with like it's your awful, universe. man. Oh, <laughs> it looks terrible. Oh, on that, it's so awful. Uh, but I just saw a video by I you got legs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's so bad. It's so behind everything. But they they had a video lately that's starting to come <laughs> my mind actually because uh, it was like Marquis something. Can't oh, really? It was on YouTube. It's like a trending video. This this huge tech this guy who reviews tech. His name is Marquis. I cannot remember his other name, but. They showed features that they didn't like. Um, kind of looks like what do you call that movie where you have screens in front of you and you're moving them with your hand? What is that called? Uh, the Minority oh, Report. Oh, yeah, you're okay. Minority. I was about to say Iron Man. Oh, oh, I should see me. Yeah, moon. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. It Maybe Iron Man, but they had a feature just like that, and other people who were shitting on the video were like, "Oh, that's super awesome. Why did they highlight that?" You know, but I'm. Saying, I would be down for that, man. That's sounding. Yeah, that like, sounds cool. That changed my mind too. It didn't change my mind totally, right? Because I don't know how big of a feature that is, but I saw that. I'm like, wow, like browsing the internet and stuff. Like, is that what it's for? Yeah, like if you're on a plane, you know, you have whatever on, and you have like a screen in front of you, a screen in front of you here, like in midair, right? And you can kind of move it around. Although you might look like a psycho, but but yeah. you, know. <laughs> you smack the person in front of you. <laughs> yeah. Well, Sorry, man. <laughs> it's augmented reality, though. So you threw it. You threw it. It's 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 all good. Oh, that'd be so funny, dude. I know. Yeah. But the thing, if if they lean to those features I saw in that video, then I would I could see how that would be eventually the future. But like all the other stuff is trash. The stuff before that, you know. Yeah, shit. But, but Phil, Phil didn't see it though. But Phil, Phil it's like uh, you ever use Sims or I'm trying to think of what was the comparison. Second Life. Have you have you heard of Second Life, Phil? Second. <laughs> no, I haven't. Second Life is super old. It's like it's basically doing the same thing though, where it's like a a three D like virtual world where you can like create an avatar and like oh, okay. it oh. would be like really big for like corporations and stuff, where like they have like their own like little separate islands that they buy uh, oh, and like okay. you know, yeah, information about their products. Yeah, it's yeah. the same shit, man. But like, <laughs> I, I guess they think they're inventing something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So what what Vince said. Uh, to add on to that yeah they made a really crappy version uh, of that like where you have these little like i don't know like w- very simple avatars that are talking and it's just They're really, bees, really- man. <laughs> Not even yeah. bees. <laughs> this was a, like the metaverse the future and it was super lame and everyone was like what is this and almost nobody uses it i've um, never heard of this <laughs> yeah oh man you should look this up and then like I think we gotta I send them a video man we gotta send yeah. them a video 
Yeah, I can start but but yeah. the thing is, even that started changing a little bit. Um, they talk, They had another good feature where it looked kind of crazy. Where you okay? Let's just say you want to talk to your. Uh, let's say you want to talk to somebody in augmented reality. You know, like you're. Gonna, I'm gonna look over here, and Vince is over here. But like, mm-hmm. you can grab your camera. This this looked pretty cool, and you scan your face super quick. And then now that that 3D model's talking like right next to me, and it's like, oh shit! It's like a 3D model of my friend's head. And that, that sounds like a horror movie really waiting to happen, man. That does sound pretty <laughs> awesome. But, <laughs> but it looked pretty good, actually. That that yeah. looked that I could almost see being yeah. close to like the future because you he yeah. can turn everything back here and is. <clears throat> wow. We'll see. We'll see. I'm I'm still like this is my thing yeah. about it. Th- this is my thing about it, man. I feel like especially like. Post lockdown, people are figuring out that like working from home is kind of like it, it's the future. I think yeah. uh, a lot more people are going to be like working from home mm-hmm. um, for like from here on out. What I like, one of the things I didn't like about like that whole like thing was they're like, oh yeah, now we can create like a virtual office and you can all be in here and like clock in and stuff like that. It's like, nah, we're done with that, man. Yeah, Not I'm even sure. in a virtual like format are we doing that. Uh, you know, it was like, like I, I like my coworkers, but like I love being able to work from home. <laughs> you know, it, it's, it's great. Like, you don't have to worry about like more back and forth. Like, yeah. yeah, but it's like, like you're defeating the purpose. Like, like being it, like having like good internet, and, like good computers and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Like, we're in an unprecedented time. So, like, why would I go into a virtual reality so I can like see my boss? So I can, like, like yeah. you know. See- do it like all the time you know it's like you know you need to trust me that i'm doing my job you know <laughs> the one that uh the one that made me laugh a lot was the uh you go into a virtual grocery store which looked really lame anyway and then oh, you the walmart it. one yeah, yeah. <laughs> groceries, they'll arrive and i'm like send, send phil send the send phil that video for that walmart one. how would yeah. you get your groceries do, they, do you just pick your groceries and it gets shipped to you yeah kind of but but the thing is it's it's easier like to amazon it. yeah amazon <laughs> A button, you know, why would you want to physically walk around in your ski? You know? Exactly, oh, exactly. Okay. Yeah, anyways, people have been bombarding that. Us. was like 90% of the comments. <laughs> it was like, <laughs> What nobody needs this? We have like Amazon, we have delivery services. Yep. Like, what yep. are you doing? You right. know? Well, well, like that one's iffy too. Like, I but they're dumping so much money into it, and they're starting to see. I'm starting to see stuff like sparks, like the things I told you about, where other people were like, Oh, that. That looks cool. Like I'm starting to see that where Fair if enough. they if money into it, they might change that around. You know, I don't know. We'll see what happens because a lot of it is testing out what people want, right? Like mm-hmm. won't people not want? Yeah, All right. I, I feel like it's gonna be a project that is probably gonna be abandoned in a couple of years, but they're gonna pull some like good stuff out of it. You know, kind of how like Google will like do stuff, and then it's like, well, this didn't work, but like. This bit of this, this this bit is good. We're gonna incorporate this into like this other app and stuff like that. You know? Yeah, or what? Like, uh, you know, the Stadia, mm-hmm. the, 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 the like the Stadia. Oh, the Stadia. That's like completely dead now. Yeah, that yeah. That, that was like, oh, okay, I guess they can fill. Do you know what that is, Phil? It's like a, it's like a video game system that Google put out, and it was dead on arrival pretty much. That that was. Oh, is that uh, right? Oops, yeah. It lasted for like a year and a half, something like that. Something like that, yeah. Where it's like, how could they be so? I don't know, how how they could could they not understand that that was not gonna make it? You know, why? Uh, strange. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry, People's sorry. internet's like overall isn't good enough to like facilitate something like that yet. Yeah. Because uh, I yeah, remember, sorry. like, I, like when when it was dead for me is like I remember they did like a demo of uh, Samurai Showdown. And it was like freezing all over the place, <laughs> and it was like super slow because it's like always online uh, type of device. And it's like, wow, this is embarrassing. <laughs> I'm just gonna play this on my PlayStation Four where there's no problems at all. You know, <laughs> right, right. Phil, mm-hmm. Phil, what were you gonna say? I forgot about what you were gonna say earlier. Maybe I, I think I cut you off initially. <laughs> we just oh, I don't remember now. I, <laughs> I think I cut you off, and we started rolling on this like video. Super cut, yeah. yeah. I don't, I, yeah, I don't know how we got on this. We were talking about schooling and somehow it got... Oh, yeah, schooling, schooling. <laughs> School makes structure and all... School. Yeah, that was... Yeah. Uh, right. uh, dude, like, I, I would say, like, let me let me put this back on track a little. I was going to say, like, as far as discipline goes, I only got that at school. Like, I never got that 
at That's home. That's a good point as well. That was something I was thinking about earlier too, is that push as well to get, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, to get assignments done That's and that true. kind of thing. That's true. With like regular school, you know, like regular college, because I know like the crypto bro thing is to not go to school, and I'm like that's mm -hmm. a horrible general. In general, it's a terrible idea. Right. Because, right. Like if you finish, at least know you finish something, mm -hmm. right? You work toward a goal and you actually have something to go for it. Like you mm -hmm. have, be like, okay, I know this guy can finish it, um, at, at the very least. I I was gonna add in too for some things like I went to school for for traditional animation. Um, now I don't know how things have changed now, but I, I know I mean I finished in the early '90s, but you the instructors we had were people who worked in the studio in the studios, mm -hmm. and so it was very geared towards um, getting you a job in a studio. Uh, so you you needed to meet with your instructors. You needed to talk to them. You needed to, to have them go over your portfolio and what they taught. They taught very specific things on how they did the job in a studio. So if you wanted to get into animation, like you can't, you needed to have that very specific mm. um, instruction on how this is, this is what they're going to be looking for. This is what they're going to want. This is how a studio operates. This is how you, how it's going to go. And that's exactly how, you know, you're not here to draw pictures. Your mom's going to put on the fridge door with magnets. This is, you know, you, you drawings had to look a specific way. This is, this is, this is the demand. So here's what it is. Get used to it. Learn to do it this way. And then, you know, when you spent three years in school to learn how to do that, where I don't know if they can teach that online the same way. I mean, they can kind of tell you that, but, but on an individual level i don't know how uh, how like somebody can get into a studio just without that interaction with somebody and that's my kind of my you, thought on it but, can, you mean like connections or in some way in small form or but so, say again do, do you mean like connections as well or is that what you're sure that's part of it too is is having the right connections with people you can make um, you know, just because these people were are still connected to the studio. Some of them were still working on jobs from studios while while there. Um, so yeah, it's it's just they had that firsthand knowledge that they can bring to you, and you could you could ask them questions about it, and it would it would help gear you to that. So, I have a question for uh, both you guys. Um, so when I was in Art Center, there was this one. Uh, I think it was a third year student. And he would just come in to classes that, you know, like on his break and just talk to the teacher. And it was like the biggest example of uh, what do you call it? Brown nosing. Like, the, it yeah, like, it was. I could not believe it, though. He was like joking around. They're like, ah, what's up? What's up? I think he ended up getting a job from that. Like, <laughs> My like, favorite teacher. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, dude, it was it was comically. over. The, yeah, it was like over the time. The guy was eating it up because the guy was like an older guy. and He had like no social life, you know, outside mm, of school. Right, right. And I was like, oh, my God. I, I saw that numerous <laughs> times. Have you seen that, really? Okay, cause oh, I, I, yeah. The, I, I uh, probably shouldn't name names on here just in case. But, yeah, yeah one of the okay. instructors was almost became like buddies with this little clique of these three or four guys. And one of them put out a really popular comic book after a while because uh, the, the one instructor, he, he taught layout and he, was, he also did comic books. Mm -hmm. um, and... He helped the one guy put out uh, a comic book that became kind of kind of famous, being kind of popular, okay. and uh, um, but he he became like buddies with this group, okay. where it was just it was got a bit weird, and I was just yeah, but <laughs> but yeah, I would see that a lot. Weird, and, weird uh, out. Like, do you have an do you have an example? Oh, just so because he would. He, he was, well, I mean, excuse me, kind of young himself, and he just started hanging out with these guys, like hanging out in the halls and just get chatty with them. And it's like, are you a teacher or one of the students here? Like, <laughs> that was that was a vibe for mine, too, where it was kind of like, he, who is son or who, who is this guy? Like, I don't understand yeah. how I'm wandering around and talking to you while we're in class. Like, mm -hmm. um, right, right, yeah. especially when y'all are like, like busy all the time, yeah. you know. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> like crazy but, but you never had that at plaid or anything uh vince not that i could think of wow so, like uh my, like the classes were pretty small 
So like everybody was kind of like a, attentive and stuff, man. We had really, really passionate teachers though. And um, yeah, like uh, like to add to this whole conversation, like your teacher is super important. Teacher is yeah. super, super important. Like yeah, for example, really I, I don't use like web design skills as much as I used to, like when I like first learned them and stuff. But my, my teacher for like web design, when I was going to Platt, she was excellent. Cause she was a nerd for this stuff. She loved like web design. You could tell she had like a passion for it. It was like she was she was perfect person to teach it yeah. because she she knew that like what she like at first she had us like do it manually like like I'm actually like on like uh, like Word like kind of like we're studying like we, so we know like what what codes do what and stuff like that. And then you like you kind of like upload it, and it's like, oh, see, here's that image, and it's like centered and stuff like that. And then she was like, okay, now we're gonna use Dreamweaver, and Dreamweaver is like the mm-hmm. site that like is like the program in Adobe that you use to like create yep. websites and stuff oh, yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. Going to you go into Dreamweaver, and it's like fixing your mistakes for you, and it's like, whoa, this is way easier now that I know understand like what's going on and like yeah. what's uh what what what's required because like I, I i'm not sure how much you guys know about web design i know enrique you know like quite a bit through your through like all the stuff that you've been doing <laughs> but um you know if like missing like a semicolon here or like having a space here like ruin the whole site basically you know so you really have to like watch out for it and like be really clean about like um doing stuff but like dreamweaver really helps you with like uh like coding you like it's like it'll, it'll point out like hey this isn't closed or like something like this or like you know hey put this image in here and like we'll create the code for you and stuff like that so wow yeah good good teachers are so important man you know yeah yeah damn that's really yeah. good uh, can we go can we go until like the two hour mark so we got like eight more minutes because been yeah, I was gonna say we're it's it's uh oh, now if you want twelve thirty, so I guess it's this show's oh yeah, it's, it's one o'clock here. Yeah. We well, I, I started a little bit before you guys came in, so but yeah, it's it's been about uh, coming up an hour and a half, I guess. Okay. But it's I'm like, it doesn't feel that long to me. It's because I wasn't here That's the whole time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it's fine. We can stay a little longer. I don't care. I'm, I mean, I mean, can we do it till two? Because that would be, I'm sorry, the two, so like eight minutes, because uh, it's still getting late technically. I do have to, like, you know. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't have to be, it, it doesn't have to be perfect, but I, yeah, I'm going to have to probably leave in the next couple of minutes. Yeah, that's that's right. Right. You said what? You were before this, right? <laughs> one more time, you cut out. You were, you were asleep before this, weren't you? I wasn't. <laughs> like, I t- dude, I totally forgot. Like, I, I, I apologize for that. Oh, no worries. <laughs> Because <laughs> yeah, no I, I I I really enjoyed doing it, um, but like you know, it's it's just been like a really long week, and like things are like starting to slow down. So like I'm like I'm trying to like start to, like chill out a little bit more, and like like I just like when I hopped into bed, I was just like out. <laughs> you know, usually it's yeah. just like you know I'm just like you know chilling out like on the computer, like maybe watching like watching something, watching YouTube or something like that. But when I got in bed, I was just like, ow, <laughs> you know, this is like, it's just like one of those days. Is it cold? But it is, what it is. Is, it, is it cold? Over there? Here, man. Is it freezing in Alabama? Uh, no, it's back and forth, dude. Like, I feel like a lot of people are getting sick because of that, because like, it'll be cold, like in the morning and then it's like hot in the evening, you know, it's like 50, 50 in the morning oh, and like 80, 70, 80 Weird. or something like that. In the evening, I was like, "This isn't good," you know. Wow. This isn't good at all. <laughs> it, oh, damn, I we're know getting that. a weird warm spell over the next two days, and then and then it's going to drop. It's going to plummet. We're, but we're getting. Um, we'll, I'm used to Celsius, but we're getting like 15, 16 Celsius, and then it's going to drop to about three or two or three. Mm-hmm. After that, winter. Do you yeah. guys have any interesting art events coming up? Uh-huh. Interesting. Like, 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 like in, interesting art events or like expos or anything like that coming up? Oh, wow. Um, the winter, I do. I, we, I think most of them have passed now with the cold weather. They kind of slow down. I don't I think, think so. there's any. Yeah, I don't think there's any right now that I can think of. Not until the spring. Can't think of any either over mm-hmm. here. I'm one in L.A. That I'm, because there's always one going on like every couple of months. Maybe designer, I have no clue. But there's 
I haven't, I haven't. Yeah. There's the the Xena Warrior Princess convention coming up this month. Really? <laughs> okay. That's very specific. <laughs> That's well, super specific. Yeah. Eugene told me about it. He's just like, oh, I'm gonna. He's gonna go to it. So. I, I I dig Xena, man. I I had a crush on Xena like back in the day, man. So I'd probably go to it too and see what's well, up. Well, it's a lot of it's like fifty bucks for a day. I I, I wouldn't think. <laughs> it's, fifty bucks, hey, really? You think it's a lot or a little? I don't know. I I'd, I'd have to see all, what all is involved in, if that's the case, man. That seems like a high price tag for such a niche convention, you know? It, it's niche because uh, it's not yearly. It's like every five years or something they'll do it so like the oh okay it's rare okay it went over the ticket prices i think it was like 50 bucks for one day but if you go for two days it gets obscene the price it's like uh, oh, okay. like there's like there's actually like a level where you pay 600 dollars for two days and you all this extra i have no clue what that you is. made seven what's up Oh, I just put that up because uh, seven. We call him seven. He he hangs out in all the chats and everything. So I just thought it's a quick hello and good night. Nice. Uh, what yeah. Oh, seven. Uh, yeah. Hamilton had something called the art crawl, but I think that's gone by already. Art crawl. Put from bar to bar. It was probably pretty much like a pub crawl that they'd have in San Diego and so. They had they had an art crawl in San Diego as well, where they had a bunch of galleries. Yeah, we went to a couple. Yeah. Did mm-hmm. we? Did we yeah, because it, yeah. uh, it went on and off. I can't remember like, where you go from. Go. Yeah. You oh, yeah, I don't remember. Exactly one, like, Toronto, December 4th. Okay. Mm. Just one day event. That's about it. But that's that's going to be it. Yeah. yeah, I guess nothing coming Probably, up. Yeah, the year's winding down, so that, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's true. There's nothing for me either, so mm. I know. I'm not gonna go to Xena. I'm not. It's okay. No, <laughs> you're gonna be there. We have little mini comic cons um, that, that go through the little one day events, and there used to be one here in Burlington uh, right up until until COVID. Mm. Uh, but the, the, and it wasn't that far. I could almost walk to it, but it was a little one day, like Sunday from like ten to four or something like that, right? And it was cheap to even put up a table in there if, if I wanted to go and promote my work or something there but sometimes it's in mississauga and um sorry that's part of the we have an area called the gta the greater toronto area and it's all the little cities surrounding toronto going east and west along the lake so um there's like uh, i'm in burlington then there's oakville uh, mississauga etobicoke and toronto and Sometimes they'll, they'll, it's usually in Mississauga, sometimes in Oakville, um, they'll get a hotel for a day or so and they'll, they'll pop up. So we still get those maybe about once a month. Mm-hmm. And it's, I think it's a thing organized, but you'll see ones like a comic con and then ones like a toy show, but you'll see a lot of the same people at both. You'll see the same artists go and set up because they have, they'll have their dealer's room and then they'll have the, the art, um, like they're the the art room sort of thing. Uh, yes, so. they, they have that here I guess too. Now they think about it. I, I on, mm-hmm. on like a really tiny note. Um, I, I told Vince this. I haven't told you this, Phil, because we we mm-hmm. talked. But like uh, mm-hmm. like three weeks ago, uh, some guy after some guy randomly came up to me and my art friend in a cafe as we we're sketching. He's like, "Hey, we have a sketch night every Wednesday. You should come." Like with a. Mm-hmm. Bunch of- um so we went last week and it was pretty it was pretty good it was like eight or nine people just all drawing yeah. talking right. about it. Uh, yeah that's when i needed something like that here yeah i used to go to in toronto years and years ago um and apparently it's in my my um i grew up in london ontario not london england london ontario mm-hmm. it's only about two hours west of here and uh somebody was telling me that they have um oh what's it called again um is it comic? Um, oh shit! What's it called? I used to do it in Toronto. They used to have one in Toronto all the time, where you'd come in and you'd everybody would sit around and we'd draw a panel of a comic, and then we'd all put that sheet of paper in the middle of the table and we'd grab another one and continue off of that that panel, oh. and then we put them back in, and then so this comic would everybody would pitch in to draw this this little comic strip and then uh we'd meet about once a month and then 
uh, the guy would make the make publish little booklets. You make oh. little booklets with everybody's work in them and put them out. And I kept mine back from like 2000, 2001. I have a whole pile. Of cool. I like that. Yeah. And I forget what it's called. Um, comic something. I don't remember. <laughs> comic Jam. That's it. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm not familiar with those. Yeah. Then you read it and like, this looks great, but it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Oh my god! Well, that's cool. That is fun, yeah, though, and I wish I'd do something like that again. I miss that. I, I even though it was in Toronto, it takes a good while for me to actually get into Toronto. I have to take the Go train in, and it takes about a good hour or so yeah. to get in there. But I would do it again if they had something like that about once a month again. I think it'd be a lot of fun. But mm. I don't know if they yeah. still do that anymore. Let's do that. You should start. So it. I like you dropping like this stuff about like Toronto, man, because like you're making me like because I've always wanted to go to like Canada, like or like Vancouver and Toronto, like in particular. And like the stuff you're telling me, I'm like, okay, I need to commit some of this to memory. Okay, uh -huh. got four rows, like four different areas. Okay, let's uh, yeah. let me let me take a look. <laughs> you know, the same, same. Man, I have, to, I have to cut you guys off because it's time. And also, my phone's about to die, and I don't want it to die. Oh, okay. All right. All right. <laughs> I was just chatting with you guys, though. Always fun to do this. I... The usual. Yeah. All right. Hit us up. We're doing it in a couple of weeks or in three weeks. Do you want to do the next one in a couple of weeks or in three yeah, weeks? Yeah, we can do that. Or? I don't know. What do you think, Vince? Yeah, whenever, man. Just uh. Uh, just let me know. Uh, hopefully, I'm gonna be asleep and late right. like I was. Tonight, you know, <laughs> I was yeah, I two weeks ago. Yeah. I was. No, I'm, I'm like that, that's me, man. Down if I'm available, you know. Okay. Um, I don't know how you guys feel about this because it's been sort of the three of us. But somebody was asking if, um, because we have a similar kind of thing going as as art casters, if if we would have guests on. And I was like, I don't yeah. know. I, I know Enrique likes to, you know, absolutely. But, but yeah, I just thought that, but. If that's the case, if oh, you I guess. guys know wait, people, wait, wait. if you guys got friends, hmm? the guy, oh, uh, the guy that we that was on a couple of weeks ago, he's from Artcasters, right? He was really yeah. cool, yeah, really yeah, yeah. Yeah, totally yeah. 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 yeah, I like, I like, I like guests. Wait, did I give up the idea that I don't like guests? <laughs> oh no, I just thought, I, I guess I just thought you kind of wanted to just keep it like this. Or yeah, not, I like, I, know, I like, but... I like guests. What do you mean? I like yeah, that's like really like fun and natural way to like grow the grow the podcast is like having people on. You know? yeah. yeah, I can probably get like I was saying this every single time, but like I have two people I can think of off the top of my head that would oh, also I know five or six point. easily that I can get in here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, get whoever, get whoever. What's going yeah, on? All right, all right. <laughs> yeah, just bring it in, man. Just bring it, bring it in. You know, we like, I guess we can be like the, the tripod of like. You know, like the the, the the foundation of it, and then you know, you have like special guests like every every circulating, week. yeah. Yeah. I was thinking too, and I don't know how you feel about this, Enrique. If if you want, if if sometime too, if you want to host it on your channel, by all means. Oh man, know, we'll, but... we'll we'll talk about that because I don't I don't want to like the technical part of it is so exhausting. <laughs> I just don't want to do it, like because yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. all right, all right. I'll, I'll I'll take I'll do what I did before, which is I'll take snippets of it and put it up here and sure. there. Okay, like, that's a good idea. Like, I do not yeah. want to do the technical part. I don't want to think hard. I don't want to. Yeah, I don't want to think. <laughs> <laughs> maybe that'll change we'll talk about it but i mean all probably right. not <laughs> all right well just a thought if you want like you open up like you you, you mm -hmm. go onto Streamyard and, and you just open it up and there's a thing right at the bottom to add mm -hmm. to add people it's not you know you, you copy the link you give it to them and you just this is this is Streamyard and not youtube this is not live on youtube or is it live on it YouTube? is live on youtube yeah. oh, okay yeah. Uh, we'll figure it out. Like, I don't know. We'll talk about it later because my phone's yeah. really going to die right now, guys. So okay. I don't have my cord. So. <laughs> All right. All right. See you guys. All right. Have a good right. day. Take care. Good time, Good night, guys. Take care, everyone. See you guys later. All right. And that is it. Uh, sorry. I guess before I go, I'll put up Seven's message because I feel bad that he, uh, best story about an artist who never went to art school and pretty successful. Is my favorite James O'Barr, the book, The Crow. Yeah, I it's not to say that you know, not everybody, you know, if you don't go to art school, you're not going to be successful. No, there are some people who definitely, definitely are, but I think, I think it's just it's helpful, anyways. Um, I think that's I'm gonna wrap it up here and uh, I'll close out, I guess, with uh, with uh, my little entertainment piece and um, thank you all for for joining us for those um, we're down to like one viewer uh, but um, what can I say thank you for 
for um, for being here. And we'll try and again in the next two to three weeks. I'll make some announcements on YouTube and on um, what's the other one? Instagram. We'll do that. So uh, yeah, um, have a good night, folks. <laughs>